sort of staring about. Uh, Buller, <clears throat> do you think the government has acquitted itself well in the way that it's handled the petrol crisis? Yeah, listen, don't worry about all that, right? You're not speaking to some ice cream. Let me explain something. Let me educate you. I'm not some little poncy film director who's been to private school making out his cockney kosher. So you show me some respect, you understand me? See, with me, I'm lovely one minute, then all of a sudden, zoom! I turn spiteful, double spiteful. You don't know where you are with me. I'm a lovely guy, nice to be nice. All of a sudden, I start to lose it. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Shut up! The screws are driving me fucking mad. Now, what do you want to say? Um, I just wanted to ask you what you thought about uh, Britain's performance in the Olympics. See, the thing with the Olympics, they should have sent me over there. I would have bought you back as many gold medals as you want. I want to mess about running around tracks and throwing them spears and all that. You don't need things like that. All I would have done is wait till the night time, masked up, slipped in and had the gold medals away. There's some people in this wing, funny enough, right? You put a police siren on and they'd do anyone in the hundred metres, absolutely anyone. <laughs> Have you got a message for Tony Blair in the way that he's handled the dome? Tony's not a proper man, I'll tell you that. See all this? I phoned up and actually made a bid on that dome. Beautiful. I phoned up and said, Tony, take a monkey, right? Because the Japs was going to have it. And I got in touch with him and said, leave that alone, I'm going to have that. And I'll do something proper with it. See, to me, they've made no use of it. That'd be a lovely snooker, all that. I've got the meeting with you, Tony, if you're out there watching. Because I've offered you a monkey, I phoned up, or I spoke to his son. Drunk as ten men he was, but it doesn't matter. Right? He's entitled to be drunk with a father like that. And Tony does know, I know you know, because I've seen him sweating. He keeps sweating where his arseholes fell out of bed. Because he knows bullers on it. All I ever see you do is cry and sweat. Where's the water coming from? So you are talking about Tony Blair, the, the Prime Minister of um, No, I'm talking about Tony Blair, the geezer who stands up and tries to make out his rice and seer and his eyes fill up and talks like a school teacher. His old woman goes in court and has people nicked. That's who I'm talking about, that little firm. They're no good, these people. They're mongrels. I'm a lovely guy, but I can turn very, very naughty. Oh, I'm a lovely guy. I'm nice. But don't start walking that line. Do you understand me? You'll wake up with a tube in you for breakfast. Zoom. Right. <laughs> it's the arsonist I felt sorry for. Can you imagine? You've got to go on a bit of work. You've got to stay in him queues hour and a half, hours at a time, to get a little bit of four star. Diesel's no good. It won't go up. See, I'll tell you what I don't like. You keep coming right in with that camera. It's starting to get on my nerves now. Come here, you mongrel.